waters around Hawaii are seldom ever flat. So when Five Ocean Seven Seas brought in a product that softens a ride, Bob Lee didn't hesitate getting one for his boat. I go fishing a lot, um, maybe once a week almost, uh, if the weather's good. And a lot of times I go out to the banks to do bottom fishing. So there's like a two hour run, you know, just planing out cross there. And you know, when you're going at, you know, 20 knots, um, your boat can actually take a pretty heavy pounding. So, you know, I was looking for a new seat and JP from Five Ocean Seven Seas mentioned that he was selling um, this product called Seaspension and is actually a seat pedestal that has a shock absorber in it. And it was kind of cool because it, says it could actually handle three and a half inches of shock. So I was thinking, hey, that'd be perfect for me. That's why I decided to try this product out. The first step is to remove the old pedestal. Let's see what's under here. Luckily, it uses the same bolt pattern. I can use the same lag bolts for these holes in the back that connect to the hatch. And then for the front three, I'm just going to drill bigger holes and use a bigger lag bolt just to be safe. The old caulking is removed so fresh sealant can provide a watertight seal. Put a bead of caulk around the edge of the pedestal. And every lag screw is given a generous dose of silicone sealant, so no water gets below the deck. Finally, any excess silicone is wiped away for a clean installation. Okay, so this is the finished installation. Um, I guess we're going to take it for a sea trial next and see how this works. Uh, supposedly, this thing can go up and down by uh, about three and a half inches. So there's a lot of shock absorbing to it. And let's see how it performs in the two to four feet waters out here in Hawaii Kai. Bob heads out toward Portlock, where the short chop almost always means a bumpy ride. Of course, even though this is a test run, you may as well set out a few lines. You can see the ocean's kind of bumpy all around here. And um, compared to what I had before, when the boat would go slam down, I'd feel the hard hit on my butt. <laughs> but now I don't feel anything, really. It's just a soft uh, cushion, basically. So I really like it. Uh, very easy on the back. Um, I can lean back comfortably. All I have to do is hold on to my boat a little bit and sit back and relax, basically. It's probably a mahi. There you go, nice size money. Probably uh, close to 15 pounds. Wasn't expecting to catch anything, but hey, got lucky. <laughs> and as a bonus, Bob gets a smooth ride home. And now, Dave Lancaster and Tackle Tips, brought to you by Hanapa'a Hawaii. We're here at Hanapa'a Fishing Company in Kalihi, and with Ethan, the gadget guy. Yeah. <laughs> Ethan, now, for those of you who like to go fishing, obviously you're on water a lot, and if you got a cell phone, an iPhone, or an iPad, you know, there's always that danger, and maybe you have dropped your phone in the water. But well, we got some neat products here. First of all, let's start with this one, the Life Proof. You can get this at lifeproof.com. Uh, and uh, basically, this uh, 
It's basically a, a waterproof jacket for your phone, right? Yes. Okay, so uh, let's see. We have our producer, Dean Sensui's iPhone in here because <laughs> I didn't want to put mine in. So I'm going to call him right now. It's underwater, and we're going to see if it does pick up the ring here underwater. It still does work. Answer your phone, Dean. Oh, there it is. <laughs> it's ringing underwater. So it does work and the phone stays dry. Of course, you got to yes. make sure you seal it very tightly around the edges, but then it does work. So we'll, uh, we'll just ignore me and uh, we okay. move on to our other products here. Now, these are a couple of neat things because this doesn't only work for just the iPhone or the iPad. This works iPad. for all kinds of cell phones and all kinds Cameras, of tablets. tablets. Okay, this is from a dry case. And uh, explain this one. This looks kind of cool. It's a bag that comes with a pump. Yes, all the dry cases is actually a vacuum seal case. So okay. Once you put your phone in, seal it, mm -hmm. and all you got to do is just suck out the air. So it sucks out the air, vacuum seals the whole thing so you can still yes. have the touchscreen capability. Yes. Keeps the water out. And you also have a headphone uh, jack here headphone that you can jack. use. Okay. So like listen to music on the water, up to you. <laughs> and if you have an iPad or Kindle or any kind of tablet, they have a bigger version of this for that. Yes. Right there. Okay, now these two things you can get here at Hanapa. Yes. Okay, this life proof. You got to order it online or uh, just go on the web and look for lifeproof.com and you'll find it over there. Great things if you're a fisher person or, or a diver or whatever and you're out there on the water and you have a phone or a tablet, these are the things you got to get. Ethan, thank you so much. Yep. Really cool. Can't wait till next time you can come up with more, yeah. more gadgets for us. Oh, yes. All right. Okay. Yeah, let's, let's put it back in the water. <laughs> Coming up next, Randy Ganoza prepares a mahi-mahi on Real Recipes.